So this last month has been brutal for the god gamer. First I bought Street Fighter 6 with the hopes of making a video on it. However, Capcom has disabled tournament mode pretty much since the game's release, so no one's been able to earn the Platinum Trophy. So that video is stuck on development hell. Then there was Diablo 4, which I've currently sunk about 135 hours into this game, and I'm still only level 75. So that video's still gonna be a while too. And my last hope was to make a video for Final Fantasy 16, a game that I was supposed to have on release. But then of course the dickheads at Amazon f***ed up my order and they lost my package. Which was the first time that that's ever happened to me before. So even that couldn't go my way. And I'm only just now getting my copy very recently. So long story short, every single project that I've tried to take on this last month has been in some way, shape, or form some kind of roadblock, preventing me from making content as quick as I would like to. And so that being said, I decided to do some digging and try to find a game that I could finish relatively quickly, but also a game that would line up with my interests. And it just so happens that I found the perfect game, Signalis. Signalis is a fairly new survival horror indie game that was heavily inspired by such classics as Resident Evil and Silent Hill. And me being a big fan of survival horror games myself, I felt like I just had to play this game. It's got that old school top down view, just like many of the older classics that we know. Tight claustrophobic corridors to survive and explore. A map to help you track the places you've been as well as the places you still need to go. And it's even got a Resident Evil style item box to store all of your valuable resources that you come across. Hell, there's even a couple rooms in the game where the background music that's playing is literally Moonlight Sonata. Paying homage to its Resident Evil roots while also giving a loving nod to the game that pretty much started the genre. Oh, and of course, you can't have a survival horror game without its fair share of puzzles to solve. And some of the puzzles in this game are impressively difficult. Basically, if you're a fan of old-school survival horror, then you will love this game. And that's pretty much guaranteed. All of the things that make a survival horror are here in this fresh new take. It's especially unique with its anime-styled aesthetic, as well as its deep and complex narrative. And so, I was eager to throw myself into what would be a very memorable and incredible experience. Now, regarding this game's trophy list, this game actually only has 13 trophies. Seven of which will unlock automatically as you progress through the story. The other five trophies, however, are missable. And one of them in particular requires you to beat the game on the hardest difficulty. So at the very least, if you want to see what this game has to offer in terms of a challenge, there is definitely a challenge to be explored here. Not to mention playing this game completely blind is easier said than done. And it was my intention to make it through this entire game without using a guide. And this would end up being fairly challenging for the god gamer. And so these are the highlights from my time spent playing this hidden gem of a game. Enjoy. Let's see how this goes. Hmm? Hmm? Make the ass drop. Some parts of this game may be considered violent or couldn't finish reading that. Signalis. I also like that it's anime. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm at a f***ing menu. <laughs> I thought this was in game. Begin! I'm getting some serious Metroid vibes here. This is probably the first time I'm seeing you enjoy a game casually. <laughs> I used to do this a lot more often, but ever since I got like more viewers and stuff what i play has been more about like my obligations rather than like me just playing something new and trying something for the first time so yeah this is actually a nice change of pace this call is locked is someone inside oh god spooky wait don't save yet idiot you'll regret this later F off i could just save again at any time the game's like you're making a big mistake <laughs> Like, chill. <clears throat> you know? Get a move on, bitch. Get a f***ing move on, yeah. What? Oh, what the f***? Yeah, their, their range of sight is so limited. No. You mother. No. Oh, my God. So, nothing else in here? Nope. Moving on. Well, thank you for not noticing me. Oh, cool! 
easy access back to the save point. But this bitch is in the way. Okay, hang on. Okay, are you moved yet? Oh my god. It, I think it would be worth it to take her out, but because they told me about the whole mechanic for um, even if you kill an enemy, if you stick around long enough to get back up. So that just means taking out an enemy is only ever a means of, like, temporarily getting rid of the threat. It's not a permanent solution, mate. All right, let's try the third floor. What the f Lose something of no value. What? I saw anime and then what did I lose exactly? Shotgun? Oh. 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 Pump action shotgun with a collapsible stock fires 18.5 millimeter flechetti from a five shell internal magazine in a wide cone. Bitch. Move the water from tank C back to tank A. Okay. I don't know why there's a document that literally just gives you the answer. It's kind of weird. Why is there a document that just gives you the answer? It would have been so much harder if they forced you to figure it out. And you totally could figure that out on your own if you just played around with it. I don't know why there's a document that just gives you the answer. That's so weird. What is up with that? Kimmy? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Yow! Please be open. Pick up thermite flare! Sure. Proper disposal of corpses. Oh, so they added a crimson head mechanic. These are to get rid of bodies after you down them, I bet. That's cool. Okay, so with this incinerator, I'm uh, a little concerned because I have no idea what to do. No clue what I'm doing here. And I really hope to find some kind of document that explains it. All right, so we need the correct levels, but like, I'm going to be playing such a guessing game with this shit. Like, how do I know which knob to have up and which one to have down? Like, what are you supposed to just fiddle with this shit until you get it? Like, I, I don't understand. Why is there no hint? or clue as to, like, what to do. Oh, I think I just understood. Oh, you want the black line to replicate the movement of the red one. Now I see. Okay. And I only noticed that because when I turned the gas up, I noticed the line was a little different. Oh, are the lights saying CO2 and gas needs to come down? They both need to come up. Oh, hey, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, he hasn't done it. <laughs> Preemptive celebration. <laughs> He's done it. <laughs> that time he did. Woo. All right, we're good. Hell yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Wouldn't this thing be hot as fuck? How can you touch that? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Get out of the way! I could kill her again. I'm trying not to, but it looks like I have to. God damn it. Wow, it's Mario logic. You touch the bitch and you get hurt. F I hate contact damage, man. That's lame. Well, looks like I'm rolling with that punch. The first missable trophy I ended up getting was actually to die. However, since I wasn't looking up how to unlock the missable trophies, this actually ended up catching me by surprise, and my death here was completely unintentional. No! Well, apparently there's a trophy to die. <laughs> ah! Oh, maybe you're supposed to shoot her in the face. Because when she has to puke up the garbage, that would expose the armor. Oh, you gotta wait for there to not be an X. I just realized that. Oh, god damn it. He got me. Pretty sure that was your last shell too? Yeah, it was. Lose something of value. 
the Aeon Fuckler. It is also aided by her powerful prototype bioresonance module, which not only allows her to bend the will of weaker minds, but also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. Spooky. What the f do you want? I'm busy! Oh my god, is that her? Is that the Fuckler? There are small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Speaking to the mic, bitch! The next missable trophy I ended up earning was actually to get the revolver, and the gun itself was hidden away in this unique looking lockbox. However, I did manage to find the key, and since I couldn't figure out where else the key went, by process of elimination, I ended up opening the box and obtaining the revolver, thus unlocking the trophy. Oh! We got the revolver, boys! And I got a cheeky little trophy to go with it. No, I didn't mean to. I hate that about when you use a key on a door. It takes away the ability to, to go through the door, and then you have to get hit before you go through. It's fucking bullshit, dude. I don't remember if this is a hummingbird key, is it? Oh my god, I lucked out. Get in! No! I've done everything possible on this floor. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit, there's a post box right there. I didn't even know. I only see it because it's on the map. When I walked past it, I had no idea it was even there. Of course it's the library key. But of course. Oh, you have to hit the button in the middle? I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh! I didn't know! Alright, here we go. It's the mine shaft access elevator controls. Take the elevator to the mine? Yes, sir. Oop. I don't understand. I've clicked on literally everything. There's nothing I haven't clicked on. What? Oh! <laughs> Really? There was a door there. <laughs> Help me, woman! Help me! Ow! Please, I've run out of ammo! <laughs> you solid old reject! I'm going in, chat. That Silent Hill looking motherfucker ain't gonna know what hit him. I'm gonna be all like, BAP BAP yeah, SCRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
where he was like, cut off his manhood, feed it to the goats. This is the thing, it looks like it. This looks like the thing to chop off the, the ween. Oh, uh, where do I go? I don't know where the last door is, chat. Oh, wait, you know what? What if I'm an idiot? Ow! What the fuck? What is happening in this game? What the fuck happened? What is this story? I have no idea what I just sat through. Holy shit. Das Ende. I just got a trophy, but you guys didn't see it. Am I starting a new game? Again, it didn't ask me what difficulty I want. This is the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Keep going. Wait, what? I was supposed to keep playing? Fuck! Oh! I was so confused. Now I gotta fucking beat the game again. Oh my god. Fuck, man. Why didn't I just keep walking, dipshit? You stupid fuck! I thought I was about to beat it. What's going on? It's still going! It's still... How much more game is there? What the f Oh man, it's getting all Baghdad and shit. <laughs> no. No. No! No! Oh, thank God, a save point. Oh God. I almost did get f***ed by it. Oh, <gasps> Really? Ah! Oh God. No! No! Oh! I'm alive a little while longer, chat. Oh no! no! There's a picture of a magpie on the box above what looks like a small speaker or microphone. Well, fuck. Personally, I can only hope the military service will beat those frivolous ideas out of their out of her in a way that this school has failed to do so far. Child abuse is on the rise, gentlemen. And we love it. What? Oh, I'm an idiot! There's some shit going on in this game, chat. Oh my, if this isn't straight out of Resident Evil, I mean, come on. Why would you just start aiming at the other ch chick, man? Target the guy who's right next to you, man! God, why is that in every game I play? Oh my god, uh... Aim at the guy right in front of you! I have like seven bird demons flying around my f***ing face! But the guy way over there who's off camera is the one you target! It doesn't make any f***ing sense! Like, the, the, it, it, uh, it literally is the opposite of logic. Oh, fuck. Uh, no! The door is locked. It's probably unlocked by the keypad next to- Oh, for fuck's sakes. No! Oh, what? Pareidolia is the tendency to find patterns within images. I didn't even know that! I didn't know the definition of that word! If I had a thought to Google it, I would have, but now that you told me that, hang on, let me- Hang on. Let me rack my brain for a minute. I'm not even mad at you telling me the definition of pareidolia because I didn't know! The game just expects me to know? This is some Silent Hill shit where they want you to know Shakespeare. I mean, it's gotta be the symbols on their wings, right? Like... Okay, well, the only thing I can notice from looking at these is that the second one looks like an E. Is there an E in the second one? Yeah. Oh, an N! It could be an N. Yeah, it has to be an N. Okay. O? For the third one? Aeon. Oh my god. Why didn't I think Aeon? That was another abbreviation. I've been seeing the word Aeon the whole game. Why didn't I think to type that in? The letters are pretty clear. You're not wrong. Like, they are pretty clear except the A. The only 
letter that is not clear at all is the first butterfly. There's no letter here that you could possibly figure out. I don't think you're meant to either. I'm pretty sure the first one's supposed to be a mystery. I can see an A clearly on the bottom wings. Bullshit! No! That's a f***ing, like, some crystal ball bullshit, man. You're seeing shit that isn't there! <laughs> You think you see it because you know the answer, so you want to think you see it. But if you didn't know the answer, you would see shit! <laughs> You're on Cal's side? Then the hell you are! You're on my side! <laughs> Once I was nearing the end of the game, there was still one trophy left unaccounted for. And because I just couldn't possibly figure out how to get it without looking it up, I decided to do just that. Turns out this trophy is some kind of philosophical reference, but long story short, the trophy wanted me to die a grand total of 16 times on the same playthrough. And there was simply no way that I was going to earn this trophy without looking up what it actually wanted me to do. And so I made my way to the nearest enemies and proceeded to continuously let myself be killed until I eventually got the trophy. Let's go die, chat! <laughs> Come on, boys. A little faster. I got a game to finish tonight. Want to kill me a little quicker? There you go. Alright, that should be the last one. Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, okay, let's do it. Time to beat the game. This is the end. Leave forever? Ha 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 ha. Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. Supposed to shove a spear in her every time you down her. I didn't realize I wasted all my ammo. F Don't worry, chat. I got it this time. Don't worry. Got her! That, I think, is gonna be really hard on the harder difficulty. Well, oh, shit! Um, I think I could skip this without worrying? Hell yeah. Okay, I got my trophy. Eventually, I finished my first playthrough. However, as it turns out, I actually didn't know that you could platinum this game in one playthrough. I was operating under the assumption that the hardest difficulty in the game had to be unlocked, and why I randomly just fabricated that nonsense is beyond me. And so unfortunately, I had to play a second playthrough of this game. Granted, things could be much worse. This was actually a great game that I thoroughly enjoyed, so I didn't mind too much having to play it again. Still, I wasn't all that thrilled about the fact that I basically wasted my time. On the upside, because I knew how to do everything, this second playthrough went by a lot quicker. And since the only trophy I had left was to complete this game on the hardest difficulty, naturally, I would rise to the challenge. How am I supposed to watch now when my ears don't ache every time you yet? <laughs> <coughs> don't worry, your ears will still ache. Motherfucker! This is a big ass spider. Big ass! That's a big ass spider. You're done! Bitch! Smashed him into a million pieces! Are you worried about camera quality? Yes. I'm worried about everything. I grew up Catholic, my boy. Everything for me is a worry. We're on hard mode now. Yes, sir. I don't want to continue. I want to. No! I want to fucking begin anew. Yeah! Get in that hole. Get in there! Nothing in there! It's funny how you could play through an entire game and uh, immediately forget everything. <laughs> stop, Matt, you're jinxing me? No! Don't ever tell me to stop, my boy. Because I'm just going to keep going! Alright, here we go. F man, I could have played this game on hard on the first playthrough! Do you know when the Street Fighter 6 tournaments are coming out? <laughs> Simple and clean is the way to make me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. You're giving me. Hey, Sora, let's be friends. <laughs> Alright, come on, follow me, ladies. Pretty soon I'm gonna be beating them away with a stick. <laughs> No! You better not walk back down here. No! Oh no. 
Yeah! Broken key! No! <laughs> Stupid bitch. Die! No! No, get through! Okay. Fucking bitch! Oh, she kicked my ass, chat. Come on, Wolfenstein 2, dude. Do you want to know why I haven't started it yet? With Wolfenstein 2, I would be that schmuck. People just, would just watch that video and go, ha 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 Tanner J did it first, dipshit. Move along. Can you do more platinum experiences? Yes, I plan to. I've just, I've had a bad way recently, okay? I wanted to spew! <laughs> Yeah, baby! Oh my god, two rotations? Excellent, dude! That went so well, oh my god. I, I exactly used my four stun batons and killed him in two rotations. That was, that couldn't have gone better. You fucking bitch! Aww. Oh wow, when you- Oh shit, when your controller disconnects, the game doesn't stop. That's spooky. I could've got f***ed up for that. Ah, you f***ing bitch! The f yeah, I was trying to click on where you actually put the crank, but you're supposed to click on the door. I would've just healed and kept pushing. Yeah, I mean, it's in my hoarding nature. I know I can do it without taking damage, so I'm stubborn and I want to do it without taking damage. Probably like me and die with a full inventory of potions. that That's literally me. You just described me. I'll be like, I can't use them! As I cradle them into my coffin. <laughs> oh, for f okay, that's not gonna go over well. Well, it's gonna be rough getting out of here. But imagine if I did, though. Oh, please let me out. Oh, yeah, chat. That was so worth it. That was so worth it. The amount of goodies I just got. Oh, you know what I should do? When he's knocked down like this, it would be better to hit him with a pistol. Four, five, six. King finally, dude. Shoot him! Oh. Whoo! All right, whatever. I'll take it. That fight's way too annoying. I don't want to do it again. Rusted key. Rusted wheel. Planet still. Rusted wheel. Can't move on. And it feels. Just like the ground, the ground. Oh God. Oh. Please don't hit me. Woo. Oh mama. Jeez. He's done it. Now the worst thing that could possibly happen is I walk in here and die. That would suck. Oh, thank God. Woo. I'll take it. Not the most ideal run, but hey, could have been worse. <gasps> no, don't save me now! <sighs> Wait, I can still win. <sighs> Go down, please. That took almost every bullet I had. Come on, get out of here. There we go. Good thing kids didn't play because it would traumatize them. 
I mean, I think there's much scarier games out there than this. This one's kind of mild. Like, it's creepy for sure, but... Yeah, it's pretty tame on, like, the horror factor. Like, there's no jump scares. And with the creatures, you only ever see them from, like, a distance. You can't even really see them close up. And because of the graphics, they're not that finely detailed. And the way it's presented to you, it's, it's really not that bad. All right, now we're in the real final area. You motherfucker! What is Elster? What the hell? Where are you aiming? As this guy's coming at you, bum rushing you, you decide, oh, I'm aiming over here now. He takes more than one. Are you shitting me? What the hell? Do they always take multiple stun batons? That's bullshit. You plan on doing The Witcher 3? Yeah, at some point. That's what I'm talking about, bitch! It's RNG! It's RNG! You could just have them go down in one. Is this the hard challenge you were hoping for? Um, I think the hardest part of this playthrough is gonna be the final boss. I don't, well, Okay, wait, every boss fight actually has given me a bit of struggle, admittedly. But it's not enough of a struggle that it's nothing I can't handle, you know? Like, the boss fights have felt more like temporary roadblocks rather than like challenges to overcome, you know? Like, when I fought them, I, I knew it was only a matter of time until I beat them. I just needed a good run. Like, that's kind of how this, this game has felt. So, is it the challenge I was hoping for? I mean... It's not a bad challenge by any means, but it, it definitely could have been harder. I'll say that much. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Okay, I need to come in here better prepared. Yeah, that room is fucking chaos. Like between the Calibri and all the fucking enemies going ape shit. I'm gonna need to come in there guns blazing. No, bro, fuck! I didn't know. What are you aiming at, bro? <laughs> oh my god, that room can fuck right off, dude. Holy shit. Ah, I hate this room! <laughs> Like how? Oh dear God, Lord in heaven. It is unbelievable how many bullets those fuckers need before they drop. It is actually disgusting. Whatever, I hate this room so much, I'm taking it. That room didn't go at all like how I would have liked, but... Whatever. I don't give a shit. Bro, you're still streaming? How long is the game? The game's not that long. It just, I take a while getting through it because I go out of my way to get every item because I want to make sure I don't fail. Like, I would hate to get to the last boss and not have enough resources to beat her, you know? So because of that, I go out of my way to make sure I get everything, uh, which takes time, so. Yeah, that's why it's taking me so long to get through the playthrough, but... It's a small price to pay for making sure that you don't fail. Shit, I shouldn't have brought the stun run with me. That was a mistake. I would have had more space. Okay. Um, put the tarot card away. Put the health away. Still have room for the other items. Aren't they like... <sighs> no! What the fuck? There was fuck rifle bullets in there uh, fuck! god the only thing that happened in this playthrough that i really hate is that i didn't pick up that fucking rifle ammo that sucks man oh no you need the empty slot to pick up the spears oh fuck oh fuck that's a complication i mean i could just rock I okay my only other option is I can roll with the three auto injectors. That's it. So if I would otherwise die, they'll fully heal me. 
and I can get away with that three times. I guess that's how I'm gonna have to play it. No, bro. Oh my, I'm shitting the bed so fucking hard. Why am I not loaded? Wait, did I use every bullet I had? No way, I was out already, bro. Fuck, man, I wasn't doing bad. Although I got hit by a lot of stupid shit. Why are you targeting him, man? Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. That was a nail biter, dude. Whoo! That was a nail biter. Okay, that was not what I'd call easy. It wasn't overly difficult. Well, that wasn't easy either. That could have definitely gone south. God damn! Alrighty, that's gonna be it. Yeah! Oh yeah! Finally! My 159th Platinum. I died 14 times, so even if I wasn't aware... New milestone? Oh, trophy level up. Nice. Cool. Um, even if I wasn't aware of the trophy to die 16 times, I would have been two deaths shy. And so it took me a total of 18 hours to earn this game's platinum trophy. However, if I didn't mess up having to do an extra playthrough, I should have had this platinum a lot quicker. Still, this ended up being a excellent survival horror game, one that I very thoroughly enjoyed. So the extra playthrough didn't really bother me all that much. So that being said, was it worth it? I could say that it absolutely was. This game in and of itself was an endearing love letter to everything we adore about survival horror games. And this game was honestly just fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course hit that notification bell for all things trophy related. Be sure to check out the full Platinum Experience playlist over on my channel for many more Platinum Trophy videos on other games. And of course, I promise to deliver more content more often. Let's just say luck really wasn't on my side this last month. Lastly, I live stream here on my channel every single week, so be sure to consider to stop by and come hang out with me and my wonderful community. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me, so take it easy, have a good one, and I will definitely see you in the next one.